It's your top 10 tweets for the week of February the 4th. It's also Eskimo Pie Patent Day. From Kenny Smith, LinkedIn hits 200 million registered users worldwide, adding new users at rate of two per second. LinkedIn was founded in 2003, and it took eight years for them to get their first 100 million followers. The US represents 37% of all users, followed by the UK, Canada, and India. Our next tweet is from Kevin Seshia. I bet there is already someone who's put their number of Twitter followers on a college application. Hi, I'm Courtney. I can type 12 words per minute, but I have 8,000 Twitter followers. Next up from Stella R. Did you know that there's a little lonely man inside automatic towel dispensers that gives you a towel because he's happy you waved to him? Which, come to think of it, explains what I got when I was washing my hands a few minutes ago. Next, from the official account of Barack Obama, the president's view on Monday with this photo. But wait, hold on, that's the president in the photo, which means it's a staff member who took it. How much cooler would it be if the president actually is like, hold on everybody, or even better, if he's in the photo himself? Just an idea, Mr. President. Filed under, the more things change, the more things stay the same. From Prodigal Sam, I wonder if girls on dates in the 1800s got mad at guys for checking their treasure maps. Come on, Gwendolyn, I'm just looking for some booty. Next, from Esteban Contreras, username Social Nerdia. Do you consider Facebook and Twitter free, or do you consider your data a form of payment? These are exactly the kinds of questions that the social giants need to be asking themselves as they're rolling out things like social graph search. And don't miss the Gizmodo article about embarrassing likes. Um, they're naming names. But hold on, personal data as a form of payment? It could have its benefits. All right, Miss Simpson, that's one medium cheese pizza that'll cost you two status updates and a picture of your cat wearing our logo. From Vaguely Funny Dan, 10 years from now, mankind will be illiterate and will only communicate through pictures of our breakfasts. This one means, I am happy, I am sad, I live in California. Next, from our friend Adam Bain, oh man, Robin Williams is now on Twitter. Robin Williams wasn't on Twitter yet? He joined on January 23rd with a photo of his puppy Leonard. Mr. Williams bills himself as an actor, comedian, cyclist, and retired mime. Robin, you forgot retired nanny. Elisa Ellis says, So glad I have Facebook graph search now. Makes me really glad I went through and unliked a bajillion pages recently. Um, yeah, so we already mentioned Facebook graph search. You're gonna be seeing a lot of people going through and unliking things now. But the good news is, if there are fewer of them, likes might actually mean something to marketers moving forward. From Prodigal Sam, Sometimes I can't tell if I'm looking at a CAPTCHA or a tweet from my mom. If you want to be featured in next week's Top 10 Tweets, use the hashtag iMediaTop10. Don't forget to check out all the rest of the content on iMediaConnection.com and subscribe to our YouTube and Vimeo channels. Happy tweeting!